and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the official broadcast of the 1978 Wild Sticks Pool Tournament. I'm Billy Bob Butler, joined with my wonderful host, Terry. It's nice to be here, Billy. It is great to be here. We have a wonderful crew of people tonight. Looks like a couple more guys are walking in, and we're ready to play some pool. Who do we got for our first match, Terry? Oh, uh, we got Shaken Bacon Haken and the Uno himself. Word on the street is, though, that he's blind, so... You know, I heard a little bit about this blind pool playing, and I don't believe it myself, but we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to see what happens. Well, it's going to be an interesting one, that's for sure, everybody. Now, some people are speculating after this, uh... uh, uh Terry, what's the matter? <laughs> Laughing at handicapped people or something, but I, I don't appreciate that. Actually, my brother is blind, too. Sorry to hear about that. It's all right. Let's check in uh, on the match, Terry. We have our live four monitors here. Yeah. <laughs> what were you going to say, Terry? <laughs> About that I, shot? I, I, <laughs> the way these athletes work is very interesting. I, they must practice day in and day out. It's very interesting. Don't you agree? Pretty unbelievable. All right, so this match was pretty quick. It looks like <clears throat> Shake and Bacon Haken didn't even get one shot. You know what, with how he's gone all year, Shaking Bacon Haken hasn't very done too well, so looks like he's going to have to pick it up in the second half, and we'll have to see how it goes. He's actually out, because this is a single elimination tournament, so we won't be well, seeing it. We won't be seeing Shaking Bacon Haken anymore this season, but it was a good run for him. All right, for our next round here, we have a little bit of a douchebag. His name's Preston. Preston, the man, McCann, he's a pretty cool guy. I've heard you have talked to him a little bit, you know. Well, cool. I would have to disagree. He's kind of a douchebag. Uh, I don't really like him that much. Depends on the person. I, I well, it depends on uh, pretty much everybody doesn't like him. But anyway, back to the round here. It looks like uh, he's not doing too good against Uno. Uno's really coming out. I have to say, I am surprised a blind man can play pool so well. I, I do like what I see in his form. It just seems very interesting, peculiar. I've never seen anything like it, Billy. Well, the weird thing <laughs> is, he's also a mute. He doesn't talk very much. Really? That's, so he's like Helen Keller then? She was blind and deaf. Yeah. So no, <laughs> he still talks, boy. You just said he's mute, boy. <laughs> this Terry's not doing so good today. He's uh, had a lot of issues lately. <laughs> that was a quick round, though, and we'll be moving on to our next one. This tournament is really going well so far. I'm glad I came out. Definitely glad, glad to be here, especially with you, Billy. Well, not everyone gets <clears throat> to sit in a chair next to Billy Bob Butler. Joining us right now is actually a guy from uh, Uno's team. This is Larry Enticer. Uh, can, you, can you talk to us a little bit, Larry? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting being on a, on a team with a blind pool player. You don't, uh, you don't see that every day, do you? <coughs> Terry sure does it. <clears throat> no, he doesn't really see anything. Um, <laughs> it's interesting trying to coach him. Well, this is an interesting one here. This is, his name is El Chupacabra. He flew in from Mexico, and uh, he's doing pretty good so far tonight. He's got a couple wins. What do you think? Uh, word on the street is he can make a mean street taco, but luckily this isn't uh, salsa because he's not playing too very hot. Uh, uh, those are good jokes, Larry. Keep using them. All right. So he's, he's doing pretty good. Uh, <laughs> geez, that was terrible. Uh, <laughs> That was pretty bad. Need a second to recoup here? Yeah. I, let's just cut that okay. out. I'm going to need to take a five-minute break. Well, we're back here, and this is an interesting guy, actually. He's came in on the railroad, and he's not driving the train, if you get what I'm saying. No, he's really going to have to engineer something up here if he's playing against Uno, who's just been on absolute fire all night long. He's been off the rails. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know what you're saying, Billy. That's a pretty good one. Thank you. That was All right. my sauce one. But Holy yeah. cow, he's getting pretty crazy here with Uno. Look at this, a fight. Is it really? You don't see this every day in pool. No, you don't. Just been crazy lately tonight. Uno is on fire, but he doesn't take any crap. You see, oh, he shoves him over. Man a few words, but he's definitely a man of pool. That's what I say. Didn't see that one coming. No, no, you didn't. No, you didn't, Billy. <laughs> Again, this is Billy Bob Butler, joined with my wonderful <coughs> assistant, Terry. Terry. Terry has been broadcasting for a couple of years now. Got a few. Uh, he usually doesn't do pool, around. though. He does poker, so it's a little bit different for him getting into this. We'll be right back. We are back here with our official broadcast of the pool tournament at the Palace. Now, this is an interesting character. <laughs> Holy, they're throwing stuff. This is an hey, interesting... I'm not too happy right now. Yeah. Let me get back. This is an interesting character. He actually lost an arm a couple years back, and he put a pool stick on it as a prosthetic. 
A pool stick, really? Yes. So he only really can do a couple things with that hand. He must be really popular with the ladies, though. He's got a long pole That's on his nice. hand as a prosthetic. Uh, oh, wow. What a break. That was one heck of a break. Oh, I've seen some breaks before, but that break was pretty beautiful. All right. That was a great round for Uno again. I was very surprised to see how well he's been doing today. So uh, hopefully we see a little bit more of that. Yeah, I have no doubt in my mind he can take this tournament in his hands. And... He's been flying through this tournament. He didn't even see it coming. Now this guy is really quite the character, like most of them. This guy is called the Mountain Man. He's from Mountain Lake, and he came in from Mountain Lake, and he's just Mountain Lake. Mountain Lake Mountain? Mountain Lake Mountain. That's where he's from? You might call it's it a hill. The, yeah, I say it's just a hill in the middle of nowhere, and the sign called a mountain? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, folks. Uh, it's a mountain for sure. Now the Mountain Man, ho, oh, quite the break there. He, he hits pretty darn hard, though. He can really hit. He can really hit. He can really that's, smoke that's, those balls. That's for freaking sure. So, like I was saying, the mountain man really got a mean shot, but does it look like he can hold up against Uno? No, no, not many people have been able to today, so... Tonight, this has just been a blackout round for Uno, who has been killing it tonight, so i got to give him huge props. <sighs> uh, sorry <clears throat> about that, folks. Uh... Quit the scary fella there. That's uh, his name is the mask. Well, if his looks are inversely proportional to his pool skill, he might have a chance here. I didn't understand a word you just said, boy. But I'll have to agree with you. No, that's impressive. He's been doing pretty good. This round has been back and forth. It's gone oh. faster than your ex-wife after the divorce. Jeez. Come down. Go up and follow my head. Down. Stop! Oh! He made it. No way. No! Yes! In my 26 years of television broadcast, I've never seen anything like this. An amazing round by a blind man, and I have to say, I didn't see it coming either.